Hello, Saddleback family. It is so great to be with you today. So the other day I got home from running errands and I had a car full of stuff, groceries, my backpack, some of my kids stuff that was left behind. And I started filling up my arms with everything, determined to just make one trip. I'm sure you've done this before, piled up your arms for one trip into the house or up the stairs or into your work. So I've got my arms completely full, bags lining my arms, backpack, and it's heavy, but I'm determined. <laughs> I start walking towards the house and I'm struggling a little bit, but I see the front door and I think I can make it, <laughs> I can make it. My husband walks towards me and he says, can I help? And I say, nope, nope, I got it. I'm in the zone. My arms are so full, but I'm still determined. Start to pick up the pace a little bit and keep thinking I can make it kick open the front door and basically collapse right inside and drop everything on the floor at once. And I'm huffing and puffing just a little bit. <laughs> I got inside and I thought, why did I do that? Why was I so determined to carry all of this heavy stuff on my own? Help was offered and I walked right by it, believing I was totally fine and that I could handle it. I don't know about you, but I do this often. I think I can carry all of the heavy things all by myself. Honestly, this is how 2020 felt. Like every week, sometimes every day, something new was piling on. My head and my heart were carrying tons of things all at once. Things like anxiety, work, grief, family fears, loneliness. It constantly felt like my arms were full of heavy things. And for some reason, there were days where I felt like I had to carry everything on my own. But God, in his faithfulness and kindness, reminded me over and over again that there is never a moment or a circumstance or a situation or a struggle that I have to carry or walk through alone. In this past season, I have held on tight to Matthew 11, 28 through 30. In this passage, Jesus is praying a prayer of thanksgiving, and then his prayer turns into an invitation, an invitation for us. Verse 28 says, Then Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear, and the burden I give you is light. There's another translation of this passage that I want to share with you. It's from the message version, and it says, Are you tired, worn out? burned out on religion, come to me, get away with me and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting ill on you. Keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. I'm so reassured of this truth and promise in this passage, this picture of being yoked with Jesus. Now you probably know this, but just a quick reminder, a yoke is a contraption that you place on the backs of two animals that are standing side by side. And then when the animals move, they carry the weight of the work together so that the burden's not too much for just one. So in this passage, Jesus is inviting us into a life yoked with him, which means he carries the bags with us. He steps in so that the burdens become lighter. When life piles on or things pile up, he stands right beside us so we don't have to do it alone. His invitation to us in this passage is come to me just as you are, no matter how full your arms are. He invites us to come to him, get away with him and find life. He invites us to rest, really rest, not just sleep, but a rest for our burdened soul, relief from what we're carrying. And we find that rest, we, we find that rest and relief when we accept his invitation into a life with him. You see, it's in the adoption of his lifestyle where we truly understand that we don't have to carry anything alone. It's where we truly find that rest that he's offering. He invites us to watch how he does it and then follow his lead. And then he ends this invitation with a promise. He promises that he won't lay anything on us that we can't handle. Like I said, I, I felt myself holding on tightly to this passage as 2020 came to a close, but now I find myself clinging to it as a reminder of hope for 2021. 
that in this next year, there's never a moment or a circumstance or a situation or a struggle that I have to carry alone. Being yoked with Jesus in my daily life offers relief from the heaviness, reassurance that I'm not alone, and a true resting place when I'm weary. I'm not sure how you're coming out of 2020, but I do know that you can walk into this next year, or even just this next season, holding tight to the truth and promise from this passage. Are you burdened? Are you weary today? Come to Jesus. He's saying, come to me. Are you carrying heavy things? <laughs> are you trying to carry it all by yourself? You don't have to. No matter where you are today, I hope you understand this invitation from Jesus is for you. He's inviting you to be yoked with him. He's inviting you into life with him. And my prayer is that this passage brings hope and reassurance to you today. Dear Jesus, thank you for seeing us, for loving us the way that you do. Thank you for walking with us and that we don't have to do any of this alone. We surrender to you. We lean into you now. Amen.